Good afternoon, my brilliant students. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am happy to welcome you again to another lesson in our course, ENG 141, Spoken English. Today in our lesson, we are going into a new topic. Our topic is pronunciation problems of Nigerian learners of English. We are going to examine the major areas of difficulty. But before we begin, I want to draw our attention to the fact that the English language is not pronounced in the same way as we pronounce words of our native languages. For instance, in many of our native languages, words are pronounced exactly as they are spelled. In other words, your knowledge of the spelling of a word is a guide to your pronunciation of that word. But that is not the same as the English language. Let us see some examples. The English word house is called Olo in the Igbo language. It is called Ile in the Yoruba language. It is called Gida in the Hausa language. In each of these languages, the spelling is a guide to the pronunciation of the word. Let us have more examples with the Igbo language. E C E. E C E. E C E. E C E. Anya. Anya. A kwe o kwe o. A kwe o kwe o. A kwe o kwe o. Very good. And so you see, the spelling gives you a guide to the pronunciation of the word. That is not what we find in the English language, where words are pronounced in a far away distance from the spelling of the words. Yeah, Phil, you are raising your hand. Do you have any problem? Yes, Prof. Okay. Um, I would like to know why, 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 um, why is the spelling of the, sorry, the pronunciation of the English not the same as that of our native languages? Why is there so much um, discre discrepancy? Oh, well, English is unique and every language is unique. There is no logic in language. I give you examples. Look at the word choir. That word is spelled C-H-O-I-R, choir. The pronunciation is choir. Do you notice any relationship with the spelling? No, no. no. no there is, there's none, there's none. Yeah, there is none, very good. Now look at another word, E-W-E. -E. This word is pronounced as you. Say it with me. You. you. Good. That pronunciation is far away from the spelling of that word. E-W-E -E means the female sheep. Okay. The pronunciation is you. And this pronunciation is exactly the same as another word spelled as Y-O-U. You, the first you and the second one are known as homophones. Do you know why they are called homophones? Yes. Yeah, tell me. Because um, even though the spellings may not are not the same, their pronunciations are alike. Yeah. They have the same pronunciation. Thank you very much. Homophones are words that are pronounced alike, but their spellings are different. There are many words like that. 
in the English language. I want you to be conscious of them so that you don't make the mistake about their pronunciations. Okay. Yes, the first area of difficulty we shall examine is the dental fricatives. Dental fricatives are two. The first is th 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 th, as in think, thank. The second is the the as in the the boy, the girl. These sounds are not in any of our Nigerian languages. And because they are not there, many Nigerian learners of English find it difficult to pronounce them. Many times they will substitute them for t and respectively. You must not imitate them in that pronunciation. I want us to practice some of the examples where these sounds are found. The first one is think, think. Say after me, think. Think. Again. Think. No, do not say think. Do not pronounce that first sound as t. It is t. t. Say think. Okay. Think. 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 Good. Think. Good, you are getting it. Say cloth. Cloth. No, not cloth. Cloth. Okay, cloth. Good. Cloth. 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 Good. For the dental fricative, the, 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 this one is the voiced dental fricative. The first one is voiceless, but I don't want to bother you about voiced and voiceless because we will come to that level for you to appreciate that. For now, let us practice the second version. Say after me, then, then. Then. No, not then. Say then. 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 Good. Say those. 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 Good. You must be very careful so that you do not substitute the th 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 as in thank. Thank you. With, okay. with the th sound as in T or teacher. You must be very careful with your pronunciation so you don't make that mistake. As students of English, your pronunciation must depict who you are. It must not be like the pronunciation of any other speaker of English in their poor pronunciation of the language. Are we together? Yes. Good. So we move over to the second area of difficulty. And that's the long and short vowel sounds of English. In the English language, the vowel sound may be long or short. If it is long, then you must lengthen that in your pronunciation. If it is short, then you must make it short in your pronunciation. But then, Many Nigerian learners of English will find this difficult since we do not differentiate between short and long vowels in our languages. Let us practice a few examples. Say after me, pool, 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 sheep, sheep, sheep. She. Let us take it again so that we take it with the short and the long version. Pull. 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 This one has the long sound. Ooh and you must lengthen that in your pronunciation. This one has the short sound, oh, oh, and you must make it short in your pronunciation. Now again, say after me, pull, 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 
I want you to understand that these words are not homophones. Pool is not a homophone to pool. Sheep is not a homophone to sheep. Cut is not a homophone to cut. While these ones are long, these are short. And your pronunciation must indicate that, okay? Yes. yes All right, my brilliant students, we move on to another. The third area of difficulty is the diphthong A. In the English language, we have all together eight diphthongs. Some of them are bound to give you some difficulties. One of those difficult ones is the A, A. Every diphthong is pronounced with a glide from one vowel sound to another. This diphthong is pronounced with a glide from e eh to e. Eh. This glide must be realized in your own pronunciation. Unfortunately, many Nigerian learners of English, especially the Igbo learners, will realize this diphthong as e eh, e eh, instead of having that glide. For instance, instead of saying eight, E-I-G-H-T, this diphthong is in that word and it is pronounced eight. You will hear the Igbo learner of English say eight, eight. No, that pronunciation is wrong. Now let us practice a few examples. Say after me, pen. pen. Again, pen. Pen. Pain. 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 The, the diphthong pain. is in pain and you have to realize it in your pronunciation. Again, say after me, pain. 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 Let. 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 Lay. Lay. Let. Now. Lay. She knows so we have left pain. Late. We are now talking about let. Say after me again. Let. 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 Again. Let. 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 Late. 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 Very good. Very good. Test. 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 Taste. 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 Very good. That's why I say you are brilliant students. I'm proud of you. We move over you, to Prof. another. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, my dear. The central vowel sounds. The central vowel sounds ah, as in cap, ah, as in girl, and the shorted vowel ah, as in mother can give you some difficulties when you come across them in your pronunciation. The reason is that we do not have these sounds in our native languages. And because we do not have them, you are bound to encounter some difficulties in your pronunciation of them. But then you will gain mastery with our constant practice. I want to remind you that in the pronunciation of the English language, we do not practice in silence. No, we do not practice in silence. You must be audible, you must pick it out, you must pronounce it for your own ear to hear it. You imitate the 
good speakers of the language, you imitate the native speakers maybe by listening to BBC, and when you imitate them, you try to pronounce it audibly so that your own ear will hear it and you try to confirm that it is in line with the correct pronunciation you have had. Are we together? Yes. Good. Yes, good. Yeah, let us practice some few examples of these sounds. Remember, I called them the central vowels of the English language. Say vowel. 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 Oh. Some of wow. you, like I had you yesterday, one person was saying vowel, vowel. No, it is vowel. Say it after me, vowel. Vowel. Uh, that's what makes you students of English. Your pronunciation must depict that. Let us practice these few examples where these sounds are found. The first one is sun. Say after me, sun. 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 It is not song. Say bus. 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 Do not say bus. Do not say boss. Say bus. Bus. Cup. Bus. Bus. Cup. 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 Okay. Say girl. 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 Heard. 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 Uh, Good. Now we get to the shortest vowel of the English language. This vowel is what we call the shua. It is the shortest of all the vowels we have in English. And it is the sound we have at the initial position of the word again, again, again. Say after me, again. 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 That, that deep song A is in this word, and we have practiced it. I want you to realize it now in your pronunciation. Say again. 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 Good. Above. 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 Say above. 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 Mother. Above. Mother. Say mother. 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 You can mother. See. We have this show at the beginning of again. We have it at the beginning of above. And we have it at the end of mother. Mother. It's okay. Do not bother yourself about this now. When we will deal with the individual sounds of the English language, we shall practice more and more about the pronunciation. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. The next Thank area you. of difficulty is the glottal fricative. This sound has no definite area of pronunciation in our vocal cavity. There is no particular place where the pronunciation takes place. It constitutes a major difficulty for some Nigerian students of English, especially the Yoruba speakers. Many times the Yoruba speakers do not realize this sound when it is at the initial position of English words. This sound is, <laughs> say it with me, Yes, you see, it, it is the sound that comes freely. There is no obstruction anywhere. It is pronounced at the open glottis within the mouth. Your mouth will be open and then you push out air. When you do that correctly, you will see the sound. It is the sound we have at the initial position of the word hen, H-E-N. Say hen. 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 Yeah. The Yoruba speaker hen. is likely to call it N, but it is not N. That sound must be realized. 
Say who? Who? The glottal fricative who? is the sound we have at the initial position of the word who. Who? Do not call it who. It is not who. It is who. Who are you? Who? Say after me. Who? 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 Again. Who? 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 Beautiful. Say who? how. How. How? How? There is a diphthong in how. Ow. Ow. And that diphthong must be realized in your own pronunciation. Say how. How? How? How are you? How are you? Good. Happy. 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 Good. Are you happy, my students? Yes, yes we are. Good. Thank you very much. We move on. Maybe it is important to mention at this point that this sound, glottal fricative, does not appear at the final position of English words. You can have it at the initial position. You can have it at the middle position. Oh, I have a question. But you cannot have it at the final position of the English words. And- Hello, Prof, I have a question. Okay, please ask. Um, what about the, the who and in, in the sound wish? What, what do you mean by who? You mean the this, this, the the sound the glottal fricative the okay the sound glottal fricative in the in the h which of in it the h letter is a letter in the last h okay h is a letter it is not a sound I said the h in the last word which oh thank you very much in the last word of the word. In the last, the last letter in the word uh -huh. which is yes. not a sound. Okay. It is a letter. The English language has 26 letters of the alphabet. Do you remember them? Yes. Yes. My brilliant students, how many letters of the alphabet do we have? 26. We have 26. 26. These letters are different from the sounds of the English language. You remember in one of our lessons that we mentioned the number of sounds we have in the English language. How many are they? 44 sounds. 44, yeah, 44 sounds. sounds. Out of these 44 sounds, how many of them are the vowels? 20, 20 of them. Vowels. Beautiful. And how many are consonants? For 24, 24, consonants. 24 consonants. consonants and 20 vowels, all of them making 44 sounds of the English language. These sounds must not be confused with the letters of the alphabet. The letters of the alphabet are different from the sounds of the English language. Are we together? Yes, Good. So we move on. The next area of difficulty we shall examine is the voiced and voiceless plosives. The voiced plosive is as in boy. The voiceless plosive is as in paper. Many times, learners of the English language, especially the Hausa people, do not realize the p sound, they will likely replace it with f. And sometimes the b sound may be replaced with v, v the, as in voice. V, v. You must not imitate this erroneous pronunciation. Your own pronunciation must be correct. Pronounce after me, baby. 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 Notice that the 
Deep song A is in the word baby. And you must realize that deep song. Let us say again, baby. 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 Boy. 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 Table. 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 Good. Say after Good. me again, people. 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 Again. People. 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 Say open. 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 Okay. There, is, there is a deep song at the initial position of open. And you must realize it. L, L, L. L, L, L. L. Good. L. Pi. 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 Yeah. When you listen attentively to house speakers of English, you are likely to hear them pronounce people as faithful. That pronunciation is wrong and you must not imitate it. Sometimes they will call alpun as often and pipe as five. These are wrong pronunciations in themselves and none of my students should give attention to such pronunciations. Your own pronunciation must be perfect, okay? Yes, sir. Good, so we move on. Another is final consonant. Many English words end in final consonant. And when they do, some speakers of the Igbo language are likely to introduce a vowel at the end of such words. Yes, because the Igbo words do not have consonant at the end of their pronunciations as we do in English. And many la Nigerian languages are like that. No consonant at the end of the word. And so whenever we have consonants at the end of English words, the Igbo speaker is likely to introduce a vowel there. That is why you hear them pronounce bottle as bottle, bomb as bombo, size as size. Your own pronunciation oh, book. will be like, and yeah, book. Instead of saying book, they will say book. Book. <laughs> Good. I'm happy you are following smoothly. Now say after me, bottle. 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 Bomb. 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 Size. 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 Under no circumstances must you pronounce the bus sound at the end of bomb. The bus sound is silent and should not be realized in your pronunciation. Bomb, say bomb. 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 Ah. Yes, there are many other words of the English language where a letter is not pronounced. Psychology is one of them. The bus sound in psychology is not pronounced. Are you with me? Yeah. Yes. yes yeah, give yes, me one or two other words where the letter is not pronounced. Psycho. Yes. Psycho. Psycho. Which letter is silent in psycho? The P. You mean psychology? Psychology. Psychology, yes. Vehicle. Vehicle. Which letter is silent in vehicle? <laughs> Good. This, that, that's the glottal fricative. Are we together? Oh, it is not put yes, yes, in that word. This, the word is vehicle and not vehicle. Do not call it vehicle. Yes. The next sound, 
the next difficulty is with the consonant clusters. The English language has cl consonant clusters. Many times these clusters could be two, three, four, but we do not have that in any of our Nigerian languages and they are bound to give you some difficulties. Where these consonant clusters are, we should not make the mistake of introducing a vowel in between them. They must realize as consonant clusters. I remember you must have studied consonant clusters in your secondary school. So. Yes, bro. Good. So say after me, table. 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 Here we have table. two clusters. B and L. Say basket. 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 Here we have anchor. Anchor. They are the clusters here. Do not say basiketi. Do not say tebulu. When you do that, you'll be increasing the number of syllables in the word. Are we together? Yeah. That's good. Another areas of difficulty you would have would be with the stress pattern of the English language and the intonation pattern of the language. These two areas are bound to give you some difficulties, but I do not want to bother you with this at this moment because we will come across them when we get to the prosodic features of the language, otherwise known as the suprasegmentals. At this level, I want you to give attention to the primary aspect, the sounds of the English language, the vowels and the consonants. I know you will have some questions for me. I thank you very much for listening. Now, questions. Questions? Uh, one, number one question is, why is it called the dental fricative? Thank you very much. It is called the dental fricative because we use the two, the teeth, the two, the upper and the lower teeth are involved in their pronunciations. One is voiced, the other one is voiceless. But remember I said, we shall come across them when we get to the, uh, study of voiced and voiceless sounds, okay? We will practice the pronunciation and you will see the vibration of the vocal cords and you will know why it is called voiced and why another is called voiceless, okay? Yes, bro. Do yes, you bro. have any other question for me? Okay, ask me. Okay. Thank you so much for the wonderful lecture. I've learned um, those areas that we can find uh, that um, we find difficult as students of English. Now, now that I've learned the areas of challenges, what is the way forward? How do we master accuracy in the pronunciation of English? How do we go Thank about you it? very much. The answer is simple, by imitation. We learn languages by imitation. We imitate the good speakers of the language. I want you to give attention to native speakers of English. You listen to BBC, you see the way they pronounce the English language. You practice your own pronunciation in that regard. Remember I said, do not practice silently. You must make your pronunciation hard. You, your own ears will hear them and then you compare with what the native speaker has said, okay? Uh, prof, please, please, uh, please, Prof. Yes, I'm could you uh, Could you recommend a very good dictionary for learning pronunciation? Yes, there are many dictionaries for pronunciation. How about Daniel Jones? Have you come across that? No. Our library, our library, National Open University of Nigeria Library has many dictionaries on pronunciation. You can use okay. any of them. Find time to visit to our, to visit our library and you'll make good use of these dictionaries, okay? Thank you, Prof. I'm happy about the interest you have in the pronunciation of English. Now I have some assignments for you. The first assignment says, identify 10 different words of the English language which you find difficult to pronounce. 
find the correct pronunciation of these words in a standard dictionary of English. Is that difficult? No. No, it is not. The second one says, write five different areas of difficulty for Nigerian learners of English. That is not difficult as well. If you have listened attentively to this lesson, you will be able to find these difficult areas. The last assignment says, suggest ways through which we can overcome our pronunciation difficulties in English. Suggest not less than five ways through which we can overcome our pronunciation difficulties in English. These assignments are not difficult and I trust you will do them well and give me your answers. Yes, in the absence of any other question, my brilliant students, we call it a day. Goodbye. Thank you, Prof. Yes. Goodbye. Thank you, Prof. Bye. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you.